who is right there uh, next to the stage uh, from ZFK, one of our partners. Uh, so they're a free emergency alert uh, system. So we have wearables, we have an app, uh, we have uh, different uh, uh, equipment that we provide. Um, so um, emergency, uh, what kind of emergency we have? Falling, attack, uh, abuse, um, all kind of emergency that can happen uh, in everyday life. Uh, uh, and how can we be safe from that? So today, the situation globally, we have many different emergency numbers depending on the country, one on four, on two, on one, one, one. Uh, but there are no, uh, there are barriers to communicate problem with technology, with um, communication. Uh, uh, if I'm calling the police, but I'm deaf, how am I going to call the police? So, 35% uh, uh, of people uh, in the world have uh, some kind of impairment. We have 70 million deaf people, and you can see there are many people suffering from some kind of impairment uh, in their lives. Our uh, solution is uh, an app, uh, a new app, a new technology. Uh, that is very important. What is it about? Uh, it has a GPS system that can localize the person. It has a personal information already stored ahead of time, a profile. Uh, you give information, um, who you are, if you have allergies, if you are um, deaf, if you have a certain disability, uh, and that product is patented, European patented. Um, so, the app is also linked with that button that you see on my vest um, and uh, it works with Wi-Fi, it's connected to Bluetooth, to a phone um, and as long as you have access to an emergency number, you can have access to the app. So, when the alert is sent, there are four, uh, four things that are sent at the same time. Uh, the family emergency person contact, the emergency services, um, uh, if you're deaf, it also sends information to uh, the interpreter, uh, all at the same time. Everybody's alerted at the same time. So, the, the app is free. Uh, what you, what we get money from are from the wearables and the buttons um, that um, we charge for. How does it work? So, uh, the person who sent the alert, you can see all at the same time it's sent to the emergency services to the sign language interpreter service, uh, to the emergency people that you have pre-listed before. Um, so, like that, everybody's alerted. Uh, no matter what the culture is from the person, um, who they are, uh, they have access to the emergency services. Um, thank you uh, for your attention and for our partners, uh, ZFK and uh, also uh, Andreas Muncho, uh, who has the patent of the technology. Uh, thank you for the interpreters. Uh, this is really barrier free. It's not only for the deaf or the disabled, it's really accessible for all. It's one for all. And all for one. Woo!
Okay, talk to me a little bit about um, the experience and background of the of the team. Where did the idea come from, and how have you brought it to life so far? Good question. Thank you for asking. Um, so people um, every day um, ha can have barriers um, to communicate. For example, uh, here. Uh, uh, we have somebody with a wheelchair. Uh, there's not really any ramp or anything. It's difficult to access. Uh, communication for myself, there's no video communication access or interpreters or anything. Uh, or a person who comes to another country and doesn't speak the language, uh, cannot access uh, emergency services. If uh, some people do not know how to write, because we can say, well, you can text, you can fax, but, uh, so that's how our team, uh, we are a team of deaf people, uh, plus uh, our technician uh, team has hearing people as well in it, um, but we have the same mindset, uh, we are all on the same boat and we all have the same idea of uh, giving the, using the technology to give access to everybody and provide the service for the deaf community, the hard of hearing, uh, but uh, also everyone without barriers. Um, by working together, no matter who you are, then hearing, if your technology is good, uh, we need to work together to make it accessible to all and uh, uh, develop it so it is also accessible to people with disabilities. So we do no longer have limits. Of course, yes, the, the need for money. We are looking for uh, money to develop uh, our research, research and development side, uh, to make the technique more accessible. Uh, for, so we are already accessible for the blind, but we have deaf blind uh, technology uh, uh, with Braille. Um, we have uh, we have people who have uh, hearing loss. Uh, people are in team and have hearing loss from the sign language, but we provide you close caption so we can use text as well uh, via the app. Um, in Japan, uh, and uh, I, I was speaking uh, English, and uh, the communication was uh, harder. Oh, in Japan they have a two like uh, in the conference they went to they were speaking directly in a thing and it was post captioned straight in English. But I'm deaf, I don't speak, what do I do with uh, that? So those are ideas. It's a good technology, but it's not accessible to all. So uh, one more quick thing. Um, have you thought about I, I know I work at IBM and maybe I am not supposed to be talking about one of the programs of my competitors, but that's okay, I used to work there, so I think I can. Have you thought about applying for a grant or funding from the AI for accessibility team from Microsoft? Yeah. Um, yes and no. <laughs> okay, uh, it's an interesting program, and just as you were talking, uh, I felt like it might be very interesting for you based on some of the work that, that they are doing and some of the interest that they have in making technology more accessible. So that's all I got. Okay, thank you for the, the idea. Yes, thank you for sharing. Thank you so much for your presentation. I am so impressed. It's the first time to hear this kind of presentation. And then go to help. So now you came to Japan and then I thought you need help. Language barrier in Japan. So, but uh, I think that this kind of a system should be standardized in the world. Do you have an idea to promote the uh, solution to the WHO or some organization? So uh, I am in contact with the uh, SoftBank Japan, that's where uh, I had a meeting. 
um, we talked a lot about that, uh, how to uh, develop and open uh, the technology and also uh, use videos to uh, promote uh, our technology uh, at the bottom and have all of that. Uh, and uh, they were very excited and very motivated about that. Um, but at the same time, uh, we need to adapt also to different cultures. Uh, there's that culture, there's uh, work culture. Um, so uh, uh, we work uh, with uh, development, uh, research and development to make it better for all because it's uh, one system, but we also need to be aware of different cultures. Um, and so we have plans with South Bank uh, and uh, and uh, the OMB Games uh, next year, 2020, uh, and we would like to have access at that point as well uh, for uh, the uh, Diva Gold uh, next year, um, and uh, have better communication. Uh, people without disabilities, children, uh, 